spins a web any size. Catch your seeds just like flies. Look out, here comes the Spider-Man. Is he strong? Listen, bud. He's got radioactive blood. Can he swing from a thread? Take a look overhead. Hey there, there goes the Spider-Man. In the chill of night, at the scene of a crime, like a streak of light, he arrives just in time. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Welcome, fame, he's ignored. Action is his reward to him. Life is a great big bang up. Wherever there's a hang up, you'll find a Spider-Man. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Comic Book Blog. I'm your host, Jim Houston. So in here is some Spider-Man comics from issues between 2 and 20. We're going to open them up, take a quick look at them, and then we'll do a video of Spider-Man, say, 1 to 10 with close-ups. Maybe 11 to 20 also. But to complete the collection of Spider-Man 1 to 50 in the new labels, I'm hoping all the books that I sent are finally back. So we're going to take a look at this after we open the box real quick. So a little story. I personally flew to uh, Florida and dropped off my comics to Brittany. And the reholders came back it felt like in almost a week. It was probably two weeks. FedEx said this would be delivered on Tuesday, which is today. But it actually came on Sunday. So luckily my daughter was walking in the door when they arrived, and I told her to bring them inside. I teased her. I said, your inheritance is sitting on the front porch. Why don't you bring it inside for me before it gets rained on? That's the way we talk. I'm very sarcastic. All right, so let's take a look at this. Box came with no dents in it. It's got the big bubble wrap here. Here's my Spider-Man 2 with the label. Now we can check off the comics later. I don't do it as I do the videos. Spider-Man 2. Graded 3.5 in the new label. All these comics were pressed by Phil at Phantom Restoration. Here's Spider-Man 2, graded 3.5. Fighting the Vulture. Oh, these old guys picking on Teenager Peter Parker. Here's the back cover to Spider-Man 2. A lot of writing on the back of the cover. Definitely caused the grade to go lower. Tom was scribbling all over the back of the comic. See, he'd get his pen to work. Um, I believe this is. I believe this is the story of. This was a restored. Color touch. Phil took the color touch off and it came back 4.0 universal, which makes me very happy. Doc Ock. It's a little... Here's Spider Man 3 versus Doc Ock. 4.0 off white to white pages. piece missing on the cover down there. Okay. 
Here's Spider-Man 4. Graded 3.5. date stamp on the cover off white to white pages spider-man 4 versus the sandman four panel cover three point five off white to white pages little date stamp there Here's the back cover to Spider-Man 4. So here's six. Spider-Man meets the lizard. 4.5. Off white to white pages. Versus the lizard. 4.5. Off white to white pages. Back cover looks pretty bright. A little staining back there. Could be a water stain. Right there. Looks like a water stain. Here is a Spider-Man 7, graded 4.0, with the Vulture. Spider-Man 7, 4.0 versus the Vulture. Off-white pages, 4.0. Date stamp, September 4th, 1963. Spider-Man 7, back cover. is the enforcer issue. Spider-Man 10, graded 4.0. Spider-Man 10 versus the enforcers. 4.0, off white to white pages, a blue-eyed Spider-Man cover. I was able to take the blue eyes off of one of my issues that had Spider-Man fighting the Green Goblin. I came back. 
as universal and pretty high graded 6.0. Here's the back cover to Spider-Man 10. Here's another appearance of Doc Ock in Spider-Man number 11, also 4.5. Spider-Man 11 versus Doc Ock, 4.5, off white to white pages. Here's a cover to read. Back cover to Spider-Man 11. And another Doc Ock issue. Spider-Man 12, graded 3.5. It's very weird. Generally, these are coming back lower graded than the first batch that I submitted years ago that I just had reholdered. Spider-Man 12 versus Doc Ock, 3.5. Off white pages. Back cover, Spider-Man 12. Is Spider Man number fourteen graded three point five? The Green Goblin. Here's an issue everybody likes Spider Man fourteen introducing the Green Goblin. Off white pages, 3.5, key issue. It's gonna be expensive to replace this. Looks like the enforcers are there. And the Hulk. Here's the back cover.
Here is Spider-Man number. Fifteen. Graded three point five. Spider-Man fifteen versus Craven the Hunter, and the chameleon is in it. I consider three point five a low grade. It has nice page quality. I have to look to see what these are going for. I'm kind of in a good position where I can pay a little more to upgrade a comic and then sell the double. Nice white back cover here. I don't know if that's considered a spine roll with the pages sticking out like that. Spider-Man number 16, 4.5. I also had graded my Daredevils, where Spider-Man meets Daredevil. Spider-Man 16, fighting Daredevil in a yellow costume on the cover. Off white to white pages. Just about the cutoff point of where I want my collection to be. I like a little higher graded. Unless I get a really good price. This would probably be one that is the last one I replace in my collection. Of the ones that I replace. 4.5 is pretty decent grade. And the back cover to Spider-Man vs. Daredevil. Another Green Goblin issue. Spider-Man 17. Graded 3.0. Here's Spider-Man 17. 3.0. Great Green Goblin and Human Torch on the cover. Off white to white pages. I'd love to upgrade this. Probably brought the grade down a little. Staining on the back cover. that could have been removed. This is Spider-Man 18, graded 3.5. Off white to white pages. Spider-Man 18, 3.5. Off white to white pages. Versus the Sandman. And 
and the back cover. You notice with these New York City labels, I don't have the issue number on the back label. Little spine roll there. It says Spider Man twenty. Graded six point oh. That's a grade I like. 5.0 to 6.0 or above is what I like to try to get into my collection. So I'll probably be buying upgrades and selling the doubles. Spider-Man 20, the Scorpio, nice grade of 6.0. Off white to white pages. And here's the back cover to Spider-Man 20. Spider-Man 31, 8.0, very nice. Here we see a Spider-Man 31, nice red cover, high grade, 8.0 with white pages, my favorite, high grade and white pages. Sometimes you could have a low grade with white pages. Page quality doesn't affect the grade, I've been told. A lot of collectors still like white pages, including me. It's the back cover to Spider-Man 31. Oh, this is nice. So this is Spider-Man 49, graded 4.5. Two against one, bunch of bullies. The Vulture and Craven beating on Spider-Man. Spider-Man 49, 4.5. Off white to white pages. One's got pages sticking out from under the cover. Back cover to Spider Man 49. And a key book that everyone likes to have in their collection, Spider-Man 50. Spider-Man No More, Spider-Man 50, off white to white pages.
And the back cover to Spider-Man 50. Looks like white pages to me. So 7.5, Spider-Man 50, a book everyone likes in their collection. Happy with this grade. Probably be upgrading the lower end comics and selling the doubles like I did with my Batman collection. One more comic is coming in. Uh, I have one already open. The first and second appearance of the Rhino. That's uh, going to be a cross grade, which means... I took it out of the CBCS case and put it in the CGC case, but I let them do it at CGC. Let's see if the grade stays the same. So this has been another edition of the Comic Book Blog. I'm your host, Jim Houston. See you again soon. Bye. Just like flies, look out! Here comes the Spider-Man! Is he strong? Listen, bud! He's got radioactive blood! Can he swing from a thread? Take a look overhead! Hey there! There goes the Spider-Man! In the chill of night, at the scene of a crime, like a streak of light, he arrives just in time! Spider-Man! Spider-Man, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, wealth and fame, he's ignored, action is his reward to him. Life is a great big bang-up, wherever there's a hang-up, you'll find a spider